morning, good afternoon, good evening, traders from across the globe, and welcome to the 1,872nd edition of Short Term Trading Live with Oscar Carboni and traders. Pay attention, this video is going to be interesting. I hope you can make some coin on Friday with the information I'm going to put forth in this video. So, coming at you on a Thursday night for trading Friday, that's December 14th, 2018, is my 1,872nd installment of these educational videos. The education in these videos is the art of technical analysis, and I've got some really interesting charts in that vein to show you. You must recognize, before we discuss the topics on the board, futures trading, stock trading, ETF trading, any type of trading at all these days, is extremely risky, can cause substantial, I mean substantial financial loss, and is certainly not suitable for most of us anymore the way this thing swings around. So make sure you got enough money to play this game if you're going to play it. So, sorry to say, two things are really ugly on this board. One, a really red Omni, and I'll tell you right now, number two, the Omni has flipped to a very aggressive selling stance. I don't remember the last time I could actually say, you know, Omni's usually a buyer or it's a seller as a day trade. Omni has gone very aggressive on selling this market as of the close on Thursday. Now, I believe at least one or two of my Omniacs were blessed this afternoon because I gave out a trade recommendation to get us short in the E-mini S&P. And a couple of them in the room said, Oscar, you said aggressive. I went to the market. Bravo to you, Omniacs, you maniacs, you brainiacs. We all missed it. <laughs> the market tumbled not too long after we put out the recommendation to go short. So for you guys that went short, if you took some profit already, bravo. For everyone else, pay attention to what's in this video because I think we're going to get a chance to get short again tonight into tomorrow. So Omni has flipped to a very aggressive stance. It wants to sell rallies aggressively. I'm calling this Make your coin for the week Friday. That's what this is called. I sort of dubbed it that this afternoon right after the close, after watching all day. I said, you know what? I don't even need to do the analysis yet. I've already seen what's coming. And then I did the analysis, and it was the chart I had built in my mind. Very aggressive short coming up to Friday. Now, will it go down? Well, I don't know if that's what stops or for. I hope it goes down. The analysis says it's going to go down. Don't kill me if it doesn't. But... In about a moment, I'm going to show you some charts that should convince you that we are going down tonight into tomorrow. Traders, right before we get into the charts, I've got two seats to fill at my Omni camp. Sorry to say, one of my traders had a really horrible tragedy in his life and basically will not be able to make Omni camp. So now I've got two open seats. February's Omni camp. If you'd like to come out and learn the art of technical analysis and the Omni, which basically stands for Oscar's Market Navigational Indicator. If you'd like to learn that for yourselves, come on down to livewithoscar.com, fill out your Omnicamp applications, and I will call you back. With no further ado, let's go look at some pretty cool charts. Well, are you ready? <laughs> okay, traders, sorry to show you this picture once again, but this is 2008. We had a sharp rally, which dropped into a shoulder, which kind of turned into a head of a head and shoulders formation. So the three big circles, left shoulder, head, right shoulder. Then there's a thing that the street pays attention to called the death cross, which is if the 50 bar moving average crosses the 200 or vice versa, that cross happens right here. Inside of the shoulder is an inverted head and shoulders. You can see it in red. And you got an upright head and shoulders here, which lends itself to an inverted head and shoulders. We move up into the head, you've got a head and shoulders, another head and shoulders. Then in the right shoulder, you've got a head and shoulders, you've got another head and shoulders. You actually have a bigger one here, encompassing all of that inside the right shoulder. Same things I mentioned in 2007 leading into 2008, and we all know what happened after that. We continued on down, we had our crash. This is what the chart looks like in 2008. This is what the chart looks like, top day 2018. We had a rally, drops into a shoulder, all of a sudden you get a head and shoulders build, another head and shoulders build, pops up into a head where you've got a head and shoulders, another head and shoulders, 
goes into this, and this is even a loft side of head and shoulders right there. And you've got another one here. Then here, flips down into the right shoulder, and you've got a head and shoulders inverted, and another inverted head and shoulders. And in all honesty, if you look at this correctly, you circle this chunk here. You circle the head right there. You circle this chunk here, and you've got a big head and shoulders with already, it looks like it's already formed inside this right shoulder. I think we're getting ready to go down. Will it happen tomorrow? I don't know if tomorrow is the beginning of a big move, but I think tomorrow we go down for day trading at least. So that was 2008 compared to 2018, but let's forget about this because this is slightly longer term. This has to work out. Then once it falls out of here, we could do projections and then we could call it real and blah, blah, blah. But for top day trading, let's go do that. This is for trading on Friday. For trading Friday, tomorrow, Dow Jones Transportation Average, you've had three miserable failures at the 200 ball moving average. Take my word for this. The fund managers are watching. They watch this like hawks. So you had what looked like when you got above, but it was one day and you went right down, and that has now turned into a bear flag. And as of Thursday, we fell out of that bear flag, and this has been the leader for weeks. So Transportation Average has been leading us around bear flag, as of Thursday, that's Thursday's bar, that's what that looks like. If that's the leader, well, it looks to me like the Russell, which is very close, right behind the transportation average, is falling out of its bear flag, had the death cross, 200 bar versus the crossing the 50 or vice versa. That's in your Russell, in your daily bear flag forms, you're cracking out of it. This is what we should probably get tomorrow. And, or Friday, I should say. And then you've got a mini S&P, and you same sort of thing. You have this triple top looking thing here, which really are three failures above the 200 ball moving average. The death cross takes place. This is some kind of weird pennant bear flag. I am calling that a flag. I drew it up. I think that works. I think we can expect a crack out of that. That's for trading on Friday. Look at NASDAQ. I don't even know what to call that, but I'm calling it a flag. I don't know if I've ever actually seen one before exactly like that, but that is a flag enough for me after these failures and the Omni being very aggressively short. I think we crack out of the NASDAQ as well, out of whatever you want to call that. I'm calling it a flag. And then let's look at this. Dow Jones Industrial Average. Bear flag, nice and tall, skinny and quick. We should break out of that tomorrow as well. So then we look at these weeklies, and I showed you in last night's video, it looked like in some of our indices we were holding above the Omni average. Well, when you take a look at the leader, no chance. We broke below the Omni average, seriously broke below. And if you look at this chart, you get below the Omni average, you have a problem. You get above it, you have a nice rally. Well, we're below it now, so I'm assuming we've got a problem. Then we look at the weekly E-mini S&P. Yesterday it was above it. This is what it looks like as of pre preparation for this video. We fell back below the Omni average. One of the things I had in last night's video to call a buy was that we were above that average on the weekly, and now we are below. And then you've got this, NASDAQ. It's the only one not below yet, but it is banging away right now. And it looks like that's going to crack as well. So you have had three quick stabs through it, or I should say two. I don't know what you're going to get there, but you're going to get some down movement on Friday based on the charts I just showed you. Okay, traders, you've seen the ugly charts. That is my technical reasoning why. We have a very aggressive seller of rallies coming out of the Omni. In other words, Omni came up as a very aggressive seller, and I went to look for why. What I just showed you on this board was my reasoning why in that chart segment. So, make your coin for the week tomorrow. I think you will get a chance to sell it, and it probably will come off. Um, hey, Sun Beyond, nice Phil. He's the only one who reported to me so far that he got short this afternoon in the S&P. Well done if you did that. Sabo, Thomas Sabatino, would you come up here and say hello to these to the Omniacs, please? Uh, oh. This guy's been living with us and hanging out with us and partying and trading and just being very cool for the past six weeks. Hey, Sabo. Hey. What's up? Sadly, he's going to go home tomorrow. Oh, well, he's going to go visit. He's got things to do. He's going to go visit his family. But I just wanted to bring you on camera and thank you. Thank for, you. I had a blast with I you. I did, too. <laughs> we had a good time. 
That was fun. Yes. You are welcome here anytime, sir. Thank you, sir. Um, anything you want to say to the crowd while you got their attention? Hang in there, boys. <laughs> That's all I can say. It's going to get interesting tomorrow. Well, thank you, Savo. Sure. All right, traders, that's about it. Come on down to livewithoscar.com. Join me in my free live trading room. I'll be there to help you get through these rough and tumble markets and try to figure out what's coming next. Remember, two of you need to come out to my February Omni Camp. Two seats left. Fill out your applications and then do this. Remember, keep your emotions out of trading. One of the best things you can do to help keep those emotions at bay, and boy, with the way these markets swing lately, the stop has to be really big, so you're going to have emotion anyway. <laughs> but do this. Put your stop in first, and then say this to yourselves every morning, every afternoon, every evening, and you know what that is. Stops are in. Emotions are <laughs> Rock and roll, you kids. Thank you very much. Sabo, great hanging with you. Traders, get short, and I will see you at live with Oscar Dr. <laughs> Futures trading is risky and can cause substantial financial loss. We do not claim or guarantee that you will profit from the information provided.